Howdy y'all, Kevin here, back with another plant video. Today we're going to talk about Queen Anne's Lace. Uh, let me reposition the camera and I will get to showing you the plant. Alright, what I have here swaying in the wind are some Queen Anne's Lace. Daucus Carota, Wild Carrot, and a few other names. They don't really matter. Uh, but here's what I want you to, want you to remember. One thing that they say to help you identify Queen Anne's Lace is the queen has hairy legs. If you will look at the stalk right here, you can see all those fine little hairs. The whole stalk is covered with that. I want you to kind of take a look and see how this plant branches. If it will quit swaying in the wind. Out here at the terminal of all of those branches will be a flower cluster. This is a really good example of one right here. The structure is called an umbel. And here's something else I want you to notice about Queen Anne's Lace. All these tiny little hairs down here on the bottom, these are actually called bracts. This will be an identification feature of this plant, if you're not sure. Here is a good example of a leaf for you. They will call this finely dissected, which basically means it's going to have a lot of lobes. Notice this comes off the plant stalk. The leaf right here. But it does not branch. Here are some other examples of what you're going to see for, for flowers. This one's just getting going good here. The stalks on these plants are, are solid. The seed heads were these, were known as the original morning after pill. These get in the range of about two to four feet tall, sometimes a little bit taller. And for medicinal purposes, what we're really looking for are the roots and the seeds. All right, now once again, I want you to notice that the branches on the, uh, on the Queen Anne's Lace are hairy. I want you to look at the structure of this flower. It's called an umbel. Got a critter there. A lot of times there'll be a dark flower right in the middle of this big floret. And as this is a perfect example of, it doesn't always happen. Here we go. Here's a good one. I don't know if you can see this dark one right here in the center or not. Alright. But I want you to look for this floret or an umbel. I want you to look for these bracts underneath the flower. I want you to look for that hairy stalk. I want you to look for this carrot-like leaf. You can also bruise these leaves up. And if you smell them, they will smell carrot-like. All right. I want you to notice that. 
The stalk is solid, not hollow. Okay, white flowers in an umbel, bracts underneath, hairy stalk. Smells like carrots if you crush it. All right, now since I know it's gonna come up, here is some conveniently located poison hemlock. Now everyone says you can confuse these plants, which is true if you just take into account they have green leaves and white flowers. If you know anything about either plant, then you will not confuse them with each other. If you look at that leaf structure right there, you see it's a much larger leaf structure. It branches off, it's got, it's got many little leaves. Basically each one of these leaves we pull this off of here. Is basically three Queen Anne's lace leaves, similar, but all stuck together. All right. It does have that deep venation. They're both they're both members of the parsley family, which is why a lot of people confuse them. You'll see this stalk is almost all purple. These over here are just starting to turn a little bit purple with some little spots. Uh, if we look at one of the, the flower heads right here, the flowers are completely different. It's like a whole bunch of those little tiny florets stuck together. Uh, let me see. We can get the knife out here and pop this puppy open. Let me. All right, I want you to notice that the stalks are not hairy. They are smooth. They are hollow. All right, so here's what I want you to remember. You can remember this either way. Hollow stalks are poison hemlock. They are smooth. All right. Solid and hairy stalks, like our back over here, are Queen Anne's lace. So remember this however you want to. But remember, they are not the same. And if you know anything about either one of the plants, they are hard to mistake for each other. Uh, here's a size thing. Hemlock gets about six to eight feet tall. This is Queen Anne's lace in the front. Poison hemlock in the back. So a hemlock is a lot larger plant. It starts earlier in the season. But the problem with plant books and plants in general are plants do not read plant books. So I always want you to identify on more than one factor like we've talked about in the past. I think that's probably all for right now. If I think of anything in the edit, I'll put it in. Have a good one. Goodbye, Hemlock.